this. All right, so I have a Google project set up, which has a BigQuery data set. And so this data set uh, has millions of rows, and this is pretty much copied from a public data set that Google has made available. And I'm gonna add this data set to GraphQL engine, and I'm gonna run some queries on these tables uh, to show GraphQL engine support for BigQuery. All right. So I see the tables that were listed in that particular data set. I'm going to track them. Unfortunately, unlike uh, unlike big uh, unlike other databases, uh, BigQuery does not have notion of foreign key constraints. So because of which the console cannot suggest relationships. So we'll have to like manually go ahead and add these relationships. So cycle higher has a foreign key to cycle station. So I'm just going to define one such relationship. Start station. Right, if this is a typical graphical query where we are fetching the relationship and there's a limit attached to it. Right. Uh, so what's interesting with BigQuery is that the execution engine is unlike what we have uh, prior to this. So with Postgres and SQL Server, we were able to convert this entire GraphQL query into a single SQL query uh, with the kind by pushing JSON aggregations into the database. But unfortunately, this uh, BigQuery does not have uh, the necessary primitives uh, to do this. So what we instead do, if you look at the analyze plan for this, is we have a data loader approach. Uh, so what happens is that to like to fetch data for this particular GraphQL query. Step one is that we fetch the data of the cycle hires table. And from there, for all the interested cycle hire tables, we do a fetch on the cycle stations. This would be step two. And then a join happens on GraphQL engine in Haskell. So uh, the join happens at the application layer for this. And so this would definitely not be as efficient as pushing a like SQL query down to the database. But unfortunately, given that BigQuery doesn't have these primitives, uh, this is the best that we can do. And BigQuery is particularly geared at running these like long operations. Uh, so e even the API to like run a query on BigQuery is to submit a query, you get a job ID in return, and then you wait for this job to, uh, to complete. So that's, uh, so this is in line with what you expect from BigQuery. Uh, and at the same time, like when possible, we try to like minimize the number of queries. For example, this query is using a relationship uh, to like do an ordering on, on, on the cycle higher table. But if you analyze this particular query, you see that it's just a, it's just a single, uh, single execution step and we were able to like push the join into the SQL query in the first step and uh, satisfy the requirements of this particular query. Uh, so that's big query. So currently only queries are supported and uh, like mutations and subscriptions are not uh, are something that we're not currently looking at because they are not the typical use cases for big query. You're storing petabytes of data and you're running long, uh, you have long running queries on them. So we have query support for now. Uh, 